with your eyes. I didn't fell in love, love. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. So today I did something. I did a little thing. It's the summertime and I wanted me some braids but I didn't really want to sit and I don't wear my braids long. They only last me like a, a week or two and I'm ready to take them down. So I decided to just go ahead and make me a wig. So that way when I do want some braids I could just always, you know, slap it on, slap it off. So I'm going to be starting off with this full lace wig. The first pointer that I want to give you guys is if you're going to attempt to try this Please ensure that your full lace wig is fit to perfection, like it's really fitted to your head. This wig was a little bit big for me and I didn't do any adjustments to it so you guys will see what I'm talking about at the end of the video when I do a final, you know, final 360. But it, it was, you know, it was doable. I'm going to be parting the sections and then I'm going to begin braiding. So I got a lot of inspo from Pinterest. I was on Pinterest and I was searching up cornrows and cornrow styles to the back and a lot of braids came up but there there's kind of like a trend going on right now normally people get cornrows straight to the back but now there's a lot of like you know creative styles going on with the cornrows so I decided to give it a try um, I'll try to include the links of the pictures that I got inspiration from in the description box so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about but I'm just gonna start off with braiding and whatnot um I feed in my braids at the very end I like to I like to braid like the hair that's on the wig first and then at the very end I like to feed it in and make it a little bit thicker. I mean, it just looks more natural that way to me and it doesn't look all bumpy and lumpy and stuff like that. I'm not really like you know a uh, experienced braider or like a trained expert uh, or like a stitch braid expert. That's not my thing. I just know how to braid because like I guess it just runs in the family like my whole family does hair pretty much and yeah so I don't really know how to teach you guys this. This was more so just like a watch me, you know, attempt this. And yeah, I'm going to just stop talking right here. I'll chime back in if I need to.
Okay, so we're moving on into the install. I just want to show you guys that I did not use a cap, but it's still getting scalped. Like, look at that. It looks pretty decent. So I'm going to be taking my From Keeks. From Keeks, that's me. My From Keeks Thick and Slay Adhesive. I used, I think I used two layers of this because I knew I was wearing this short term. But yes, I'm going to be using two layers of this and I'm just going to continue with the install like I normally do. This adhesive can be purchased on my website. If you visit www.fromkeeksboutique.com, you will see this along with my, my primer, my remover, and also my milk band. So make sure you guys hit the link in my description box to shop. So you guys will see, at some point in the video, you guys are going to see the back of this wig and like... The way they constructed this full lace wig, they put like a piece of gray material on the inside. And like no matter how many layers of foundation I use, it just wasn't enough to fully cover it, you know. So that that kind of was a dead giveaway that it was a wig. Other than that, like the lace was good. Um, you guys will see the baby hairs in a minute. But yeah, I'll just talk more about that later too when you guys are actually able to see what I'm saying. <laughs> slow down this next clip so you guys can see the benefits of having the melt band just wait let's just watch it and see bye 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 look at that scalp look at my face <laughs> i'll be shocked every time what y'all get a melt band i'm telling you it changes your whole install it helps with the melt process. If your edge is a little raggedy, but you want to go out sad, you throw that on. If you want to protect your baby hairs and like make them last longer for your entire install, you need a melt band. And last but not least, if you like me and you like to wear wigs outside, like funnel wigs, and they just not fitted and they're not glued down, slap you on a melt band. You can get mine or you can get anyone else's, but yes, definitely get a melt band, guys. For sure, for sure. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the video and I just wanted to hop on and say that this was, it was actually nice to try and attempt this because this is a very convenient um, way to wear braids and it's perfect for those who don't wear their braids long term or perfect for those who change their hair very often. I do want to just say that you just have to make sure your full lace definitely fits your hair to a T. Like you guys are about to see the back of mine and some areas are a little bunched up because I use the adjustable strap. And I probably should never use that because that extra space in the back definitely got to looking wiggy as fuck when I wear the braids down. But I was able to put it in a bun and finesse it and, you know, make it look good. So it was okay. But it's okay. But anyway, just make sure that your 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 full lace wig fits you to a T. So if you have to go in and cut out the back of the wig and just sew it and keep it from shedding, then go ahead and do that. But other than that, it was a pretty decent thing to try. Let me know what you guys think about it. Leave me a comment below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And turn on your post notifications so that you are aware of when I post. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.